Welcome to the Make More Dough podcast presented by The Mighty Baker. I am Pete Tidwell and I coach bakers how to make more dough in and out of the kitchen. Join me as I share my knowledge and expertise on essential topics for running a successful bakery business. If you're looking to take your bakery business to the next level, don't forget to visit our website to learn more about getting coached by Pete. Together, we can help you achieve your business and life goals and make more dough. Each week, I'll provide tips and strategies on mindset management, marketing management, and time management. But that's not all. I'll also be interviewing fellow entrepreneurs, bringing you their insights and inspiration to help you thrive in this competitive industry. Don't forget to join the Mighty Baker Make More Dough Business Facebook group for a community of bakery and small food business entrepreneurs to connect and share knowledge. Tune in and let me be your guide on your journey to bakery business success. So come on and let's jump right in the mixing bowl and see what is being mixed up and discussed in this week's episode of the Make More Dough podcast. Let's go. Um, okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Pete Tidwell here with the Make More Dough podcast by The Mighty Baker. I am so excited to be here today. This is episode 57. This is part two of a six-part podcast series entitled The Hardest Part is Over, Embracing Entrepreneurship and Self-Care. Part one was last week, and it was entitled Life, Business, and Overcoming Challenges. We took a great journey last week and talked about a lot of things. So go back and listen to that. It was a great episode. Um, Episode 57 today is going to be all about the power of perspective, shifting your beliefs from scarcity to growth, whatever that mindset or limiting beliefs that you have, we're going to try and tackle some of those, um, give you a couple tips on how you can shift your mindset to a growth mindset instead and help you to grow to that next part of your life, next growth of your business, whatever that looks like. So a couple reminders before we jump into today's episode is my door's always open. You can always book a free discovery call to come learn about what I offer as a coach, but also the most valuable parts of those sessions. It's a coaching call. You come to that call with specific questions for me and I answer them give you my perspective. And it's a very valuable time that we can spend together. So please go schedule a discovery call on my website. You can follow the work with me page up to the link to discovery to the discovery call. And you can go ahead and link there and schedule it. And I'd love to chat with you on the phone. Another thing, huge announcement. If you didn't see it on my social media last week, I am on Netflix starting at the end of this month on a show that's called Is It Cake Season 2. So in the title of the show is officially Is It Cake 2. And I am so excited, you guys. I, of course, can't share any details because it hasn't come out yet. But I can share with you that the cast is amazing. Each and every decorator on that show that I competed against are so incredible. They are all now my best friends, and I love them dearly. And it was such an amazing experience, you guys. So put it on your calendar, June 30th, Netflix, Is It Cake? I'm one of the competitors. Come enjoy some fun because it's going to be zany and fun and amazing and just an incredible show to watch with your family. It's just going to be amazing. It's going to be a good, fun time. So for today's episode, we're jumping into this. So this is the power of perspective, shifting beliefs for growth. So first, we're going to go in... And talk about perspective, right? Each of us, we have a different perspective on life based on our growing up, our upbringing, our culture, where we where we grew up, all the things, right? And it's very transform- transformative to be able to change our perspective. But before we can change our perspective, we need to be aware of what our current proje- perspective is, and be open to learning about other perspectives and be open to the possibility that there are other perspectives and that our perspective is not the only one. It's a little bit hard because sometimes 
a lot of us just think our perspective is right and we want to make sure everybody knows that. But the bottom line is our perspective may not work for everybody. And so we have to figure that out for each one, um, each one of us. And that's why from a coaching perspective, why coaching is so valuable because it really helps you dive in one-on-one -on -one with somebody to help you understand what your perspective is and also what are your limiting beliefs? What are the things that are holding you back? Because from a shifting belief standpoint, you can open up new possibilities and change the trajectory of your business, of your life, of your relationships, of everything in your life by shifting beliefs or at least understanding that there are other perspectives. You don't necessarily have to change your beliefs, but being able to be open to the new possibilities and know that there are a lot of different ways that you can do life. There's a lot of different ways you can do business and you got to figure out what works for you. And I talked about in some past episodes about this, but the the impact of positive thinking versus negative thinking and the reframing of that in your mind, especially when you're going through challenges in your business or life. And if we can switch and start looking at those as opportunities for growth rather than the other way around, it can really help us to be able to move forward and use that as a jumping off point. This last week, I spoke to a group of high school graduates and, and it was an amazing opportunity because I was able to talk to them about the excitement, but also the uncertainty of the phase that they're entering into. And I was using that as an opportunity for reflection for myself and to help the audience reflect as well. And remember back when they graduated and I talked to them about, you know, it is uncertain and it is exciting. And I talked to them about the most amazing part of it, in my opinion, is that they get to enter the world and they get to now decide what their perspective is and what their beliefs are. And I urged each one of them to learn and to explore and to understand and seek for learning and understanding and seek for um, being curious rather than judgmental. We've talked about that before in here as well. And how as you move forward in your life and you form what those perspectives and beliefs are, that you're also understanding and open and know that there are a lot of different beliefs and perspectives of the 8 billion people that live on this world and there and none of them are necessarily right or wrong like everybody gets to choose what that is for themselves and i think that's an important place to be so that we can also respect other people when they choose to have certain beliefs and perspectives and that we don't necessarily have to try to change them but we can have a mutual respect that we have different beliefs or different perspectives. Anyway, we could jump into that a lot, and I know it's a little bit abstract, but this goes just to this whole concept of just really diving into what does this look like for you? Because I don't know what the hardest part is for you. I don't know what the hard things are for you in your life, but I do know that the things that we're covering in these episodes very much hit on some challenges that I think are very universal that many people deal with, whether they're in business or not. Um, so this next section we're going to talk about is examining common limiting beliefs and how to overcome them. You know, as we jump into life, as we jump into business, especially like we have to identify and address self-doubt. Like, what are you what is self-doubt for you? Do you have self-doubt? Some people don't suffer with that as much. What about imposter syndrome or the fear of failure? All those things can hinder your business growth. So really it comes down to understanding what is it that is holding you back. And the best times to understand and notice those kind of things, which is not the easiest time, but it's when you're going through the challenges. And if you can stop yourself while you're going through a challenge and think to yourself, 
Like, what is it that's holding me back? What is it that's actually making this hard? What is the thing that I'm afraid of? What is the thing that I'm doubting? What is the thing that I don't believe fully? Because if you can identify those things and you can get past that and then you can take action and grow your life and grow your business. Um, so from a um, challenge standpoint in business, you know, a lot of times we have competing thoughts going on in our mind and it's hard to cultivate a mindset of success sometimes because we have so many things going on going wrong around us and the one thing somebody taught me a really cool thing the other day and it was talking about how you know when we do have challenging times sit down and write down what all those things are and then and then choose maybe a small way that you can shift, shift your belief, reframe the thought, and even just challenge a little bit. Be curious about it because oftentimes it's the lack of curiosity and the overjudgment that puts us into a place where we don't feel like we can move on in our business and we have a hard time believing in ourselves or feeling like we don't know enough or whatever it may be. And here's an example, for instance, like oftentimes people in businesses, especially cake business or dessert businesses, oftentimes get overwhelmed by things like pricing. I have heard bakers out there say things like, I don't know how to price. I just don't like pricing. I don't like pricing. It's hard. So, you know, you say those things, but just imagine if you spent just a little bit of time to actually learn how to price properly and then apply it because anybody can be good at pricing. I don't even know what that even means, right? So let's learn some basic skills. You don't have to be an accountant. You don't have to be a professional at math. You don't have to be. It's very, it takes some time and a little bit of effort but it's the tracking of the information. It's just gathering receipts, gathering numbers, and having places to be able to put it into, and having people and resources and there's um, to be able to utilize to get over that limiting belief. So I, I just give that as an example because there's a lot of different room where we can learn and, and areas that we can reach out to other people to have them help us with that. Um, Okay, so the next thing is discussing the role of mindset in resilience and overcoming obstacles. And this one is, you know, we're going to try and highlight the connection between a growth mindset and the ability to navigate challenges with resilience and determination. So I love this part because if you have a limiting belief mindset, right, and you don't have that growth mindset, it's gonna be hard to be resilient. It's going to be hard to have determination. It's going to be hard to push through and take action towards our goals if we don't have a growth mindset and we're very much as as a scarcity mindset and with limiting beliefs. So it's the being aware that we have the limiting beliefs and then slowly shifting that over time so we can shift that belief or that negative energy into positive energy to help push us forward um, so that we can have a growth mindset and embrace a positive outlook because positive outlook is much better than having a negative outlook. I've had a lot of times where I've had a more negative outlook that is just, it's just not helpful. Okay, so... Some ways that each of us, here are some exercises, tools that we can utilize to be able to shift our perspective. So number one is journaling is a huge one. I would suggest writing in a journal, reading, or like talking out loud into into like a notes app in your phone, but journaling your thoughts and feelings, especially during the challenges, and talk it out. Don't just let the thoughts just ruminate in the brain, right? That is not going to be helpful. Oftentimes, that just pushes us further back into not taking action. But if we journal it, if we get it out, 
Um, also, affirmations, listening to positive things, positive music, positive affirmations, surrounding ourselves with positive energy. And then also visualizing, visualizing yourself being successful, doing the thing, and growing your business. Um, and all these things can help us reframe our beliefs and our perspectives. Um, and having self-reflection, taking those moments to have self-reflection, and then also always be learning, always be seeking out other viewpoints. The most valuable thing for me is reaching out to other business owners and helping them because by helping them, it actually helps me because it helps me see a different viewpoint, a different perspective because I don't have all the answers. You don't have all the answers. Nobody out there has all the answers. It's up to each one of us to decide what what information, what things do we need to help build our journey, right? And it's up to us to figure those things out. So I am going to leave us all with a challenge today from a perspective standpoint. Before we can shift our beliefs to growth, we need to understand what our perspective is now. So write down some of those things. Write down what some of those limiting beliefs are. Like if, let's say you want to start a business, why haven't you done it yet? If you want to start a podcast, why haven't you done it yet? Um, you want to start posting on social media a little bit more to help promote your products. Why haven't you done it yet? What are what beliefs or what limiting, what fear is holding you back? It's like that is what we're talking about here. Because from a business and life standpoint, what is it that you're putting off and not doing? Because those are the things that are going to pile up in your brain and get overwhelming, and then you're just not going to take action. So let's start understanding what those limiting beliefs are so that we can start taking action towards each one of them and help strengthen us so that we can get into a growth mindset and we can just continue to move forward. That's today's episode, you guys. Next week's episode, episode 58, is all about seeking support mental health, and community building. So we've talked about dealing with challenges. We've talked about shifting beliefs this week. And now that we've understood how to deal with some challenges, how to shift our beliefs, how to understand a little bit what we have going on, now it's like, if you need help, seek support. We all need help. Go out and seek support. Find community find people, find coaches, find therapists, find whatever you're in need of. Um, and the reason why I kicked off this whole episode set is that last month was Mental Health Awareness Month, um, the month of May. And so this is obviously continuing on to, into June, but it is such an important thing. And I guess it coincides well too, because June is Pride Month as well. And this all very much focuses around this, like understanding different people's perspectives and beliefs. And if you have issues in your life and business, individual life, that you can actually reach out and find help through a coach, through a therapist, through friends, and you can find that support in community to help you overcome the challenges in your business and that you can continue to shift that belief more into growth mindset and you can believe in yourself to continue taking action to grow your life, to grow your business, to improve your relationships and all the things you have going on. You guys can all do this. This is a super fun journey. Join us on the next four parts of our podcast series, um, episode 58 next week, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in to the Make More Dough podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform to help us improve and reach more listeners. Also, if while you were listening, you thought of somebody that would benefit from listening to my podcast, please share it with them. I would really appreciate it. Don't hesitate to reach out on social media or through our website if you have any questions or feedback. Keep baking, stay inspired, and see you on the next episode. <laughs>